Yeah, the mid range slasher got to go. I'll have, I'll still keep it, but it's like I'm not gonna play on it for much. Probably just for VC. That's it. Yeah, I'm already grinning the first possession of the game. Let's go. <laughs> Literally, my first game as in high school, I got like eight. I got like eight thousand. Um, why is my shot meter back on? I got about eight thousand. Um. Attribute upgrade for shooting and that gave me my first badge off the back And then my second game I Got another shooting badge. I played while I was injured which did not help me out. So I don't know why I did that but um I Lost against Hendricks Cobb in that inv Yeah in that invitational game I lost that game because I was injured, so that was reasonable. Good defense. I'm on Texas Tech for my Jonathan McDaniels build, and this build might go to the Indiana Pacers. Might. I said might. It has to be a lock. Small forwards are mainly lockdowns. I really wouldn't prefer anything else other than like a lockdown or shooting small forward. I I won't prefer you making a playmaker or a, what I prefer you making is probably a slashing small forward or a shooting and defending small forward. Thompson, give me the ball back. If you're not going to shoot that, you. I'm not doing everything from all positions. That's one thing I won't do for every single position. I won't make. I will only make up to a power forward, six foot nine, glass cleaning finisher. That's what I have right now, and I will work on it once I'm done with my point shooting and small forward. It's hard shooting with the shot meter off. You ain't got no stamina. Jeez. I'm with the shot meter off. Does it help you improve your three? For you. Because I have a 75 three and I'm working with no shot meter and I'll have gold range extender. I'm not using the right stick. No. Uh, that's too much. That's too much difficulty with the. Right, sticking yada yada yada. I'm not greening, but I'm making almost every shot in the book, so that's good. Oh, I didn't get benched and I got takeover. Oh bet if I don't lose takeover, I'm going crazy. Takeover now. Takeover. Y'all did not want to miss that because now I'm about to go crazy. And one. I'm barely slashing into the paint. The moment I slash into the paint is when I'm on uh fast break. Snatches. Splash. Come on, stop wasting my dang on takeover, bruh. Y'all don't even double team it. That's one thing I like about college. They don't even double team that often. Give me that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm about to act for that screen real quick. Y'all get stuck. And I green. My first green with no shot meter.
It's 20 to 4. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I lost against the Lakers in my last game because Tyshawn made me um sim. I wanted the extra rep, and it was dime time, so I just chose to sim. And it, the score was 110 to 111. We almost won that game, so I'm fine. Now I'm just waiting for the Heat and the Lakers to go back at it. <laughs> I got to make sure the Heat win this game. I wanted the Nuggets to do a 3-1 again, to be honest. Nuggets are, like, I understand you want the Lakers to win for Kobe, but the Nuggets and the 3-1, bro? No, here's what I'm trying to say. Here's what I'm trying to say is, if the Nuggets came back 3-1, they've earned that. I give them a lot of respect because here's the thing. They went to game seven twice, I believe. Twice. You got to put respect on their name. The fact that Jamal Murray was injured, Jokic in foul trouble. Yo, I got to admit, Nuggets put up a better fight than I think Curry would have put up. I'm not even playing. If Curry was hurt, he wouldn't be playing at all. Jamal Murray got injured every single um, series. Every series he was injured, but he still never gave up. If, if that was Curry, if that was Curry, Curry would not play and he would let his team die. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to be funny, and I'm a huge Warriors fan. But if if Curry wasn't in the game, the team wouldn't win. I understand you got Curry, Clay, Wiggins, Green, but y'all ain't got a solid big, and that's why y'all are gonna lose. I have a lot of respect for the Warriors, but if they don't find a solid big man, they are not winning. You don't have. They don't have. Here's the thing. I see what the Rockets did. The, what the Rockets did are smart. They got all shooters on their team. Every single person on that team can shoot. Everybody on the Houston Rockets can shoot, and they have a small ball lineup. Minus a couple of rookies, minus a rookie or two who can't shoot, but everyone else on the Rockets can shoot. On the Warriors, on the other hand, yeah, Curry, Clay, Wiggins, and sometimes Draymond, and then now they have Gerald Green, Damian Lee, and probably a couple other people, and probably Gerald Green. I don't know if I said his name already. I need Damian Lee and Curry to go off. I don't even care about Clay Thompson at this point because Clay Thompson's not even 100% reliable. He just he tore his ACL a year ago. He back in practice. He's doing perfect. But I need Damian Lee to get more minutes because without Curry on that team, Kai Bowman, Damian Lee, Eric Paschal, they all went off. I was surprised when they won that Christmas game against the Rockets. I was surprised. Brother-in-law. I was surprised, and the fact that they, the, the fact that he's his brother-in-law, makes everything better. Because the fact is that they have family communication. They are now family through marriage. So technically speaking, so technically speaking, if they took Zeth Curry, if Zeth Curry chose to join his brother on that team. Clay Thompson will run small forward. Zeth will be put in the starting line. I'm not even playing with you. Zeth will be put in that starting lineup. Zeth is like literally a copy of his brother, but just can't dunk. 
that's one thing people need to start worrying about because just because you think Zeth is not good, Zeth is a very underrated player. Zeth went undrafted. Zeth is undrafted. Zeth came from the G League. And he's still whooping behind. He faced Curry in the play. He faced his own brother in the playoffs. And that game still went beautifully as I expected it to be. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even want Steph to. To be honest, I didn't want Steph to win. I actually wanted to see Zeth, Zeth go off. I did not. I wanted that to go to a game seven. I wanted that to go to a game seven. I did. I wanted Curry to sell. I wanted Curry to sell. That's how much I wanted Steph to sell. But it's like, I knew they were going to win. I knew the Warriors were going to win. The fact that the Warriors, the Warriors, they could have won the playoffs. They could have won the finals again. But everyone got injured. Unfortunate turn of events. The moment Clay got injured, Curry knew that was it. Because Draymond, he wasn't even playing. Boogie was injured. Dray Everybody was hurt. Everyone was hurt on that team. And Damian Lee, he wasn't even relevant. Damian Lee was on the team, but he wasn't relevant at the time. He never got the time to shine. They didn't have Kai Bowman. They didn't have... They didn't have... Um, Dame, I don't think they had Damian Lee. They didn't have Pascal. They didn't have Smiley Gee. They didn't have Omari Spellman. Or, or Jacob Evans the third. I think they had him on that team before. I'm not sure. I think they did have him. But they didn't have everyone that they had this year. They the Raptors are a highly defensive team. Even without DeMar DeRozan or Kawhi Leonard on that team, that team is the best defensive team in the league. So the Warriors were going to struggle. If the Raptors made it back to the finals again, LeBron was going to struggle because that's the best defensive team in the league. Kawhi or no Kawhi, Raptors are the best defensive team in the league. But here's one thing I'm pissed off about. There are two teams that I love the most, the Warriors and the Heat. I am those those two are my best teams that I love the most. Hold on. Byron just asked me. I'm a Heat and Warriors fan. To be honest, I'm going to be honest with you real quick. I understand I told you I grew up watching OKC, but that was a complete lie. I didn't. Only reason why I knew OKC is because I knew about the heat. And I love the heat. I never gave up on the heat. Yeah, I might just admit... I didn't even know the Warriors when Curry was in the league. I didn't, and that's that's a hundred percent honesty. I really did not. But to know that ridiculous. Hold on, I'm gonna tell Byron to go on. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I was a Heat fan way before I was a Warriors fan. But I didn't really, like, I didn't really watch the Heat because the Heat weren't making it. But I still was rooting for the Heat because of the players that they had on that team. Get that out of here. Not today. Get up out of my paint, stupid. Well, damn. What's up, Nate? 
Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't want someone. You Kevin, don't shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear no <laughs> long backstory. <laughs> Bang! Let's go! Uh, I remember a time. I don't need to hear no long time story about you when you were a baby. I don't care about no AIs. I just care about whooping the teens behind, not no backstory. Back in my day. Back in <laughs> back in your day, Michael Jackson was still alive. That man didn't die until I was born in 2005. Exactly, so I'm old. So back in my day. Back in your day, my foot. <laughs> back in your day, you was not even alive until November 28, 2003 at Methodist Hospital. Big bets. Back in, back in my, my day, day, my foot. <laughs> we didn't play those Video games. Back in your day, you weren't even allowed to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm weak. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. stop.